This project, uh, well, let me say this single, is along with myself, Big Bro, PLA, and our sister uh, from DOK, Sister Carla. Yeah. Uh, it's entitled The Train Is Coming. We, t- hey. we table talking, sir. Hey, I mean, what, what, what a statement to make, though. I yes, mean, sir. we're not just talking about come to Jesus, though you need to, right? We're giving you the greater emphasis. He coming back whether you get ready for him or not. <laughs> so it almost like if you know the trade is coming, you better get yourself ready, right? Yes, sir. And yes, so sir. I think that's that's what this is. A, we blowing that trumpet, man, that the Lord, is. he got he already is in motion, man, in terms of getting his people set, sending the troops out forward to blow these last trumpets. So if you don't hear that sound and come rally to the train, you're going to get left behind. You will get left. You got yes, your sir. ticket. Do you, you got your ticket? Are you sitting in the station jaws and trying to kick it? <laughs> you know, hey, and, and, and I mean, and, and I and I can really see, you know, like I said, and we'll move to some scriptures, but just with these times, if you if you look at the times that we're going through, as far as the pestilence and the love waxing cold, and, yes, and yes, even yes. people of God losing faith, you know. Uh, this is all really the sign of the Bible. We don't know the day or the time, but this, but these are the signs that you can see that our our Redeemer is drawing not. Jesus is coming back, and and as we as His people have to prepare the people. That's right. We got to get right. the people ready, you know, for 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 the for the coming of Christ. Amen. You know? We watchmen on the wall. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's 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 take them. Let's take him into some scripture, big bro. I know, I yes, know we uh, we, we gonna release the video, y'all. But y'all know, like I said, this is music to the movement. That's you know right. I mean? this, this this music that we do is to uplift Christ, to bring more clarity to the scriptures, Amen, to the Bible and what God is doing, even in this season right now. So we gonna release. It's going it's off the hook. It's tight. But before we do that, we gotta take y'all to some scriptures. Yeah. We got to go to the book. <laughs> we got to go to the book. Yes, sir, man. So we go, um, I know one of the scriptures that we you know we had a chance after we shot the video, man, we closed in prayer that night um, and we read from uh, the Thessalonians, man. And I just think that book helps helps us understand that there's an urgency, there's a cadence um, to what God is doing um, and how he's calling us forward, man. Look at what it says. Um, Thessalonians chapter four, first Thessalonians chapter four. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna dip down a little earlier. I know you got 16 through 18. Okay. What well, you want? I'm gonna just grab that 13. Okay. Because he said, I don't want you to be uninformed, brothers. I don't want this moment to sneak up on you and you're That's not right. ready. He says, We don't want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may grieve as others do who have no hope. So he said, mm-hmm. I don't want you thinking that, you know what I'm saying, how other people, you know, people are like, we're just going to die and it's over with. No, 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 no. Christ is coming back to redeem his people. Mm-hmm. There will be a second judgment. But he says, for since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Mm-hmm. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive and who are left until the coming of the Lord will not precede those who have fallen asleep. I think this is big. Because it puts it in the context of not just waiting for Jesus to crack the sky, mm-hmm. right? He is going to crack it. I don't know when that's going to be, what lifetime that's going to be, and whether it's mine or somebody else's. But I'm also, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to fall asleep is what the scripture says. So either he going to come get me in death or he going to come get me at the come end. On. I'll be waiting on him to return. But either way, I need to be ready knowing that he's coming. He says in verse 16, for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command with the voice of the archangel and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and who are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. And then he says this, therefore, encourage one another Mm. with these words. Mm. Stir up people to hope, stir people to action, stir people to remembrance yeah. That no matter whether you 
like you die and he come get you out the grave or whether you're still alive when he come back and actually see him crack the sky, no matter what state you in, live in a way yes. that says, I recognize what life is all about. Yes. It's all about Christ. It's all about what he has done. And he's coming back to get his people. He did that work for man. And so we got reasons to stay focused. And I think that's the charge. I think the song is given is we're encouraging folks yes. with those words. Yes. <laughs> the trade yes. is coming. Don't Train. just be down here living for here and now. This is going to end at some point, but let's live for what, mm -hmm. what's really to be lived for Christ and his return. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and, and think about that. I mean, I, I think you brought out a, a great point. Just, just, just imagine if every brother and sister yeah. lived every day yep. as, as though this as though. is the day that my Lord is coming back. That's big. How, That's how a way would, to live. How would, yeah, what does that look like? Like today, right now. Right. right. Is the at day. Any moment. At any moment. Yes, This sir. is the day that Jesus can come back. Yes, sir. I, I don't believe we will be worried about a lot of stuff that we've worried about. We don't. We won't be tripping of a lot of stuff we be tripping about. Yeah. We. I don't. I don't believe we'll be doing a lot of wrong things that we may want to think we got time to do and get away with. Right. <laughs> if we believe that this no, this is the day. Yeah, this is the day coming. That's big. That's no. Big. I, I think that's big because. I played football like that as a mm. defensive back. Mm. I had to because they didn't always throw to your side every play. So you could easily fall asleep. They run, run, mm. run, 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 throw over there, throw over there. And then you could just be asleep. And then yeah. I had to tell myself every time I come out the huddle, they about to throw it right now. Ooh. I had to tell them I had to arm myself with a readiness that they coming your way right now. I had to keep saying that. So that's what I think you say. Like every day I wake up saying today could be the day the Lord returns. I want him to find me doing what he told me to do. Yes. I want to do what really matters. Yes. Like that's big, Mo. Yes, this like you said, but you can't get lured to sleep because you're not seeing the action and you're not yes. uh 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 like the, the, the quarterback is not throwing to your side. You can't yes, get hot to sleep because soon when you fall asleep, here come the ball. Boop. <laughs> the train that came in late. Yes. <laughs> no. And and but but I but 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 to not fall asleep, like you said, you gotta you gotta with expectation. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. are we as children of God expecting that? Living in that. That mm -hmm. Jesus Jesus said, when the Son of Man returns to the earth, will he yes. find faith? Yes. Right? Will he find faith in him? Faith is not just a mental belief. Faith, if you take that word in the Greek, it has this idea of an outstretched neck. Yeah. Right. It's saying I'm looking around. I'm looking through other stuff. To, I'm looking for something specific. Wow. Right. It's stretching wow. your neck. I'm, I used to use the example of the bus when it was late. You'll step in the street so you could look down the street to see is yeah. it on his way. Is it coming? Because I'm not going to leave. I know it's supposed to be yeah. here. It's supposed to yeah. be here. It might be a little. It might not be when I think it's going to get here, but I yeah. know it should be coming any minute. So I'm looking up the street to see is it on his way. That's living in that anticipation, that expectation you talked about. Yeah. And, and we as believers, we're supposed to live in that. And That's man, right. We, we're actually uh, taking on the, the, the I would say, the, the job assignment as John the Baptist. Not only are we supposed to be living with expectation, we are actually supposed to be preparing the way. That part. For that the part. master to come. We, we're supposed to be living with so, ex, so much expectation yep. that every day we get up and we try to warn the people and prepare the people, the train is coming. <laughs> Jesus is coming. No, stop doing that. Stop tripping off all that. Turn to the Lord. Get about that's your right. master's business. Why that's, right. That's, and, right. And that's right. That's right. And that's kind of our role as the church in the world today. That's As we go, John the Baptist is in the wilderness crying out, repent. Come on. Turn to the Lord. Turn away from sin. Turn away from your stuff. And I just really feel like as we've been talking collectively, like that's part of what happened in 2024 is God had to break this thing down to get us back to the basics. Yeah. To be yeah. like, no, it's not a place. This, the people who believe and worship, you got to go out there with my people or blow yeah. the trumpet is back to Book of Acts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's back to the beginning, the drawing board when Christianity first started. That's how it started, heart to heart, people to people. Now it's Christianity is expecting an end. 
-hmm. we're living into it. We got to be saying the Lord can come back at any moment. Just like he came once, he's going to come again. We don't know when. And so we got to take to heart that we got to redeem the time is what the Bible said. Come on. And we don't know when. Think, think about the first coming of the Lord. Right. It was 400 years of silence. Right. Come on. Out of nowhere. Gabriel. Boom. Bow. <laughs> Yes, sir. But 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 no. But that, I'm sure they were lured to sleep. Yeah, I'm sure in them 400 years, you know what? Yep. People stopped tripping off God. Yeah, people stopped saying, "Well, maybe, maybe, you know, well, maybe whatever they were saying." I'm sure they got lured to sleep because when he came, he said he came to his own. Right, and, and they didn't receive. Yeah, they fell asleep. They fell, they asleep. fell asleep. They didn't even recognize him. They, didn't even, they fought against the one who came to save him because they were so asleep. They mm. weren't looking for him. They couldn't identify him when he showed up. And so I think that's the cadence. We're not just calling people um, to get to a moment, like, like come and pray, come and like yeah. these things will happen. But we're calling you to turn from that and walk with the Lord until he comes. Until he comes. We're asking you to join us in waiting for him. <laughs> join, yeah. join us in focusing on his return. But, but while you're waiting... Put some work in for it. Come on. Get the people. Get the people Bro. that, you know, Bro, Trump. Yes, you know, of course, you know, this is coming off the project, Church Going Wild. And we got we got all type of songs. And yeah. and, and, I, and I'm an up-tempo dude. I'm just saying, I like to go up. Yeah, it's part. I, just, I don't know why I'm part. Let's that's turn up. Baby. Let's turn up. But yes, sir. God said, well, hold on. No, this is the song yeah. that I need yeah. you to put out right now. Yeah, we can do all that, all that later. You know, yep. everything has a message, it's a word, but because yeah. we got a I reason, need, we got come on. I, I need to get this message out to my people, yes, sir. That I am coming, don't be lured to sleep, don't be tripping, don't lose faith, yeah. don't lose yeah. heart. Can't yeah. you see? Yeah, amen. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that, that's my, part of it. Yeah. yeah, that's part of it, Moo. It's like he's these times have gotten so it's almost like here's he's sending us on his behalf with the response to the times we in. Everybody frantic, everybody unsure, everybody uncertain. Stuff that used to be everything now is nothing. Yeah. Right? When these lands he's making room, it's almost as John the Baptist. God has created circumstances so people will make room for him. And now he's sending us out to blow the trumpet um, through a song that gets to the core. Not Jesus going to give you a new this, new that, bless you with this, bless you with that. No, no, no. Are you ready for him? <laughs> Forget is he ready to give you something. Are you ready for him to show up and come to your door? Ooh, that's, you made a good point because to, because today's church, unfortunately, in Christian yeah. believers, it's all about God giving yeah. us something. Yep. It's all about God blessing, God giving me some money, or God giving me a house. It's always about God. But are you ready for Him? For Him? Because the ultimate blessing is not the stuff that's staying it's here. Him. If yes, if, if 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 you are a person afraid, like you brought out a good point, I'm gonna die one day. Right. I gotta leave you on the field. And, yep. and one thing I had to come into the uh, the realness of is if I'm afraid to leave this body, yeah, then I'm really not desiring him. Because Thank the you. Bible says to be absent from the body, body. is to be present with the Lord. There so who is. do you really want? Yeah, come do, on. Do you want this world and this worldly stuff? Or do you want the Lord? And you and you'll say, like what Paul said, if it was up to me, I right. would with I'm out. Him. I'm out. But since y'all don't know what I know, yeah, I got a state so I can. <laughs> but, but you gotta fall in love with. Thank him. you. Yes, sir. You gotta want him, and that's the clarion call. When we say the train is coming, the response is the testimony of do you understand the times? Do you understand you are a mortal being, that you have an end point, that only the Lord gives life and can sustain you through this side to the other side? Like there's only one door, there's only one train to get on, there's only one place to put all your hopes. Your hopes is not getting something in this world. That's what Christ will give you in spite of this world. Like it's a desire thing. Yeah. Because people who know the train is coming and that's the only train coming, 
and I can't get on no other train and this come I got I'm gonna be at the station. <laughs> I'm gonna be at the station waiting for it to pull up. My expectation will be there with him at any moment. I know he could pull up. And so I'm living prepared, right? And so it's that desire, man, that I want him. I want to go with him. I want to be because that's what heaven is gonna be. It's Which not just to get him. more of the stuff we've been desiring on the world, it's gonna be him. It's just be him. It's just him. <laughs> That's Unbroken thing. fellowship. Whatever you got to do, do it now. Because when you get to heaven, right. it's just him. And I always say, preacher, if you want to preach, you better preach now. Because when you get to there, right. he's the only preacher. We don't no, need, we just worship. We, yeah, we just worship it. We rejoice it. <laughs> we just with him. It. He's the, now he's the one. You know, he's the yeah, main man. attraction. That's right. You know, I, uh, but like you said, it's, it's the desire to be with him. You know what I mean? It's the want to be with him. Right. At right. the end of the day, it's the working for him, and yes, sir. And, and like I said, we we're blowing the trumpet as as like you read in that scripture. Guess what? When he comes back, the trumpet gonna be blown. It's gonna blow. It's gonna be a sound. Blow the trumpet. Everybody go here. <laughs> That's the only way a king can come in. They gotta prepare an entry for him. He'll just <laughs> he go. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. <laughs> it is the Bible saying every eye yeah. gonna see. Gonna see. It's going to be visible. No mistake. Yes, sir. No question. But, yes, but, 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 but like, uh -huh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Bro. Well, I was just going to say, and this is something that is not always talked about, Mo. Like you said, man, that, like we're so focused on here and now, even the church is catering to getting stuff that's temporal, that's for time. Yeah. And sometimes we don't focus on resting because there's suffering we're going to go through. But our suffering is sweetened. By the yeah. fact that I have him now in part, and then later I'm gonna have him unbroken. Mm -hmm. And so he's helping wean our souls off of this world by letting us go through some turbulence where everything is not, you know, say so we make it and yeah. it helps us praise and rejoice. We're not overindulged, we're not over pursuing stuff. Yeah. We know we got what we need. That's what remember Jesus, I got meat y'all don't even know about. I get satisfied by something y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know about. And, and you really do when you start to walk with him and, and yeah. really that relationship is is there and it's built and it's strong you don't really have a, you don't really thirst for a lot of stuff yeah 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 you could really you don't. content <laughs> you content it's just really i just want to do this oh that's cool amen but, I, but really I, even with that stuff i'm just going to use that stuff to do this at the end of the day that's all my stuff finances this is all connected to the cause of him him and and you you look weird though right because it's yeah. it's counter intuitive to the way the world is right everybody in the world in a sense want to drive nobody yeah. want to be standing on the side waiting for their ride yeah because you, you want to because it's almost like my my real ride ain't here yet like my my real like you know what I'm saying I'm waiting on what I'm really it's it's coming my real thing is coming I got a foretaste he gave me a deposit that let me know you you in yeah. But now I'm living in the expectation, man. I'm not floundering out around the world with this greedy desire to try to find my satisfaction. And that's that's the trumpet being blown when he said a train is coming. It's making people take account mm. of their own life and they own like you are a create. You are God's creation and he's yeah. coming for his creation. Are you going to get where he told you to get <laughs> or you going to still run around this world as if it's all about down here? Um, and what would it profit for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mm -hmm. Good guy. Well, there, there. You, you said a personal thing. Yeah, when yeah. we shot the video, yeah, there was a sign that jumped out to me, and I, and I had the videographer put this in the video because in the Amtrak station it said ticket passengers only, only NBC. <laughs> Meaning, if you don't have a ticket, right, you should not be sitting in this waiting room. Right. I said, oh, Jesus. And that was the first thing I said, that, that, go to, that is preaching right there. Because this is a personal thing only. Like, that part. like if you ever travel, train, airplane, yeah. you can't yeah. use one ticket for two people. No. Each you person got to have their own ticket. Their own ticket. Your kids, your mama, whoever, they have to have their own ticket. You cannot get in this airplane. It's only right. one per traveler. That's it. <laughs> it's a part you got to have your own ticket. 
Mama can't a, get your ticket. You can't get it off. No, you have to go oh. to the ticket booth yourself and get your ticket. Somebody can't even purchase it for you and bring it to you. No, they can't. Even have, so you got to go to the ticket master yes, and get sir. your ticket. Yes, <laughs> this is a personal invite only. You got to come see me to get your ticket. I got to know who you is because mm -hmm. that's what it's about. Those who wait for the train mm -hmm. are those who met the king who said he's on his way back. Yeah. Right. Like occupy till I come back. Go, go ye therefore and do what I'm telling you to do in front of everybody. Tell them about who I am. Help them follow me until I come back. Like this is your service unto me. This is what it looks like to wait on God is yeah. to work for God in terms of living the life he called you to live, helping others tap into that because you try to get more people on the train, man. That's that's it. You 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 I like when you go to the ticket master, you gotta show your own ID. <laughs> you gotta show your own ID. Who are you? Because at the end of the day, you you, you when it comes to relationship with God, you can't say him, her. God is always looking at, but what about you? You. Who are yeah, you? you know, like, what, what role did you play in it? I, I'll never forget. I was complaining about somebody else, and God mm -hmm. said, well, you appointed them. <laughs> so really, it's your fault. Right, huh? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Personal <laughs> accountability. Personal accountability. Mm. How are you living for Jesus? What is your assignment for the Lord? Come on. Are you are are you on your post? Like we often tell you, you know football, a coach will all often yell out, do your job. Right. Don't worry Don't about worry. what he's doing. Don't worry yes, about what they doing. Yes, sir. You gotta do your job. Your job. Yes, sir. You gotta work on your own soul salvation. Come on. You gotta know him for yourself. And, and that's, think that's about the that. only way you know you got your ticket. Yeah, yeah. That attitude in that scripture you just wrote said was with fear and trembling before the Lord, right? So you yes. work out, you watch over your soul with the reverence of the fact that God is a God of his word. Like he told them in back in the time when they was trapped in Egypt, I'm gonna come get y'all. He came and got them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he told them throughout the prophets, the Messiah's coming, the Messiah showed up <laughs> and he mm -hmm. died on the cross like it was written for him to do so he could bring salvation and the spirit is dispatched. God is so just as sure as these events have happened, that next one is going to happen. It's gonna and happen. so it's for people who now have been saved from the, the terror of not knowing God, not knowing the times, not, not knowing it's not about this world, it's about him. We've been saved from that, not knowing that. Now we do know. And mm. now we're set aside to live with a reverence to be like, I got to work like he's coming back. I remember I was telling the story, I think at the uh, training, mm. or maybe I don't know where I was at, but my mother used to tell me sometime like, okay, had them dishes done before I get home. Yeah. And there were some times when I thought I knew when she was coming. I thought I had a timed out. And she pulled up on me before, before it was time and I wasn't ready. Right. And I was in trouble. Right. And so this is so we have to get our work done knowing at any moment I'm not waiting. I'm not acting like I got time. I got to redeem the time and make sure I got my ticket and I'm secure as I then help other people get their ticket and get on board. And that's what the psalm says, Lord, teach us how to number our days. Yeah. To understand that my days are numbered. I don't have all day. Yes, sir. It, what, what God is to do what God has called me to do. That's healthy. That's but healthy. Wise, wise yet day. You better get to work it because you think you have all day. Or like, I, I remember I, I remember you hearing you you say, I thought God was for my grandmama and my grandmama right. and all that. Right. You thought, well, when I get old, I'll do that. As yeah. though you as though you were you the one get. that was gonna bring yourself to getting old. Like ignorant, who, blind to. Right. Who told you, you to wake up tomorrow? Who told you Thank that? You. Thank Where you. Where you getting that information from? Who's giving you that intel? Gambling with your soul. Come on. Just you, you better get it right and get it right to. Day. Today, because we don't, no man knows the hour nor the day. No said. man, Jesus said he's still waiting on the Father, and he's sitting right next to him. That's yeah, the will he, of the Father. Yeah, he, he gonna wait till the Father go. say go. Yes, sir. Father just peeping. Hold. Then what? Go. And, and then, then and he go. He gonna come with a thunderclap. Boom. Here we go. Just like that. 
in order to live, this is what I learned with expectation. Yeah. You got to think about it often. You got you to yes, stay in your mind. Yes, sir. We, we, we right now, we've been doing this this prayer call on, in Bible study every morning, 6 30 morning called First Truth. Mm -hmm. And we do it from 6 30 to 8 30. Now, in mm -hmm. order for me really to get up every morning, to get online at 6 30 in the morning, no matter, that means when I went to bed at night, guess what I was thinking about? Right. Get I got to get up in the morning. First That's thing. Six, first truth. Because because you're gonna have so many I have so many various elements hit me at six. Right. I'm tired. Oh, in I you, did. outside. <laughs> it's just whoa. But but you gotta put your mind on it. To it. Yes, sir. You gotta and when I when I think about it at night, this is what I'm doing, XYZ, it's no problem. That's big. And because it's see, you know, that it's big because I think this is not just a call for people who don't believe to believe. Yes. Yes. This is also for the believer who's asleep, mm. right? He's not living in mm. tiptoe anticipation that right now could be the moment. Yeah. There's people who just been doing church. They just been doing life. They believe mentally. They, you know what I'm saying? But they're not living in a reverent reality that at any moment I could, I could, I, it could be my time is done. Mm -hmm. And all my work is over with, or he come back and, and me gonna catch me not doing my work and like caught up in this world. So again, it's helping the believer recover. This is how we're supposed to live. Amen. They were living in the book of Acts. That's why he even wrote in the Thessalonians as people was talking about when this thing was gonna happen. Well, when is Jesus coming? Did it already pass? Wait, wait a minute. Because yeah. they, they was gonna try to overthrow some people, say, oh, it, it already happened. Like, no, no, no. He said, no, no, no. Just like he left, he coming back. <laughs> you awesome. may no man know that hour, that moment, but you better live in readiness for his return, man. He coming back. That's the first thing he said to the disciples. He said, that, that remember when an angel, would, after Jesus departed, the angel said, why y'all standing here looking? Why y'all gazing? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's the time to work he, now, sir. That's right. Go do what he told you. Go to Jerusalem <laughs> and, and wait there until the whole, he told you that. So stop <laughs> gazing with your head in the sky. Pull your that's head what? out the cloud. <clears throat> Pull your head Go. out the news. Pull your head out this yeah. social media. Thank you. Stop just gazing and go yes, sir. do what That's he good. told you to do. That's good. Stop you know gazing. I mean? Stop gazing. That's it. You're just you're in it. Now come out of that. That's over, right. baby. <laughs> you know, I we was I was talking about big ball. We were talking about fanatics. Mm -hmm. And I was like, really? You know, people say you're a Jesus fanatic. And then I said, really? When I learned about fanatics, is they're the best at what they do. Right. Because that's all they do. That's, That's all they, they think about. That's yeah. all they really want to do. That's all yeah. they train for. And so I said, I said, like, we, we, uh, what's that coach for Alabama? He would often say they would win the championship. And he would say, we're going to celebrate this for two days. And it, yeah. Now two days, we're going back to work. We're going to stop right gazing at this trophy and all these news clips. Because you can get caught up in that too. You're gazing right. at stuff. Even getting, getting those work, things which are behind. Come on. Pressing Come on. forward. That, that means not just forget bad stuff, but even some of the good stuff. Good, the good stuff. stuff will slow you down. It'll Fast make you feel content. Stuff. That's yeah. what happened with David. No He's, yeah. He was contented where he was at instead of pressing forward. The Bible says press on to know the Lord. I know him, but I'm yeah. trying to get, that's what Paul said. Like I'm, I'm trying to grab a hold of he who apprehended me. I'm still trying yeah. to apprehend him. Yeah, like yeah. this thing is so many layers to God. He, yeah. We could spend our whole lifetime pursuing him and never reach the bottom. Come on. This is the unsearchable. And so he's saying, chase me, all those desires, turn them in this way, live in this direction. Let this be your identity. That's what we go back to that fanatic. Yeah. A fanatic is like, I'm known for this. This is what I'm about. <laughs> this is what I do. <laughs> Dang, it's not. <laughs> I'm we're yeah, you you could that's all you that's all you should desire to do. That's One interesting thing, bro, is the, the first video I released uh -huh. in 2003 was called Jesus is Coming. And God showed me this. I didn't even see this until we prepared for this video release. And, wow. and, and some people I said, Whoa, Lord, the first video was Jesus is coming. I said, Now we're doing the train is coming. I said, You won't and and that, and that wasn't like I, I tried to do it, it wasn't a right. It yeah. was just this was the mess. I'm like, Lord, you keep preaching the same thing. Same thing. You you Man. ain't stop preaching this. This was my first message. Right. 
I remember. That's big, bro. I said, that's whoa, big. now we're saying the same thing in a different way. Different way in a new season, but God is saying this is what the, every season is always leading to the same thing. You must Come live on. in every moment Come knowing on. it ain't about where you at. It's about Come where on. you headed because I'm coming to get you. I'm, coming. I'm either coming to get you in the good way or I'm coming to get you in the bad oh, way. But either way, I'm coming. Either way, <laughs> That's I'm already coming. settled. Ooh, I think you brought out a good point there. Either, either <laughs> people don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. You said it. Either if I, them dishes wasn't ready, right? <laughs> my mama got home. I was. In it was all bad, and I, yeah, it was all bad. And if you not, if you haven't given your life to the Lord, come on, man. I don't care if you was in on your, on, as you was a thief. You right. may have did no works, but, but right. you still recognize Jesus come was on. who He was. If you are in the visual, now listen to it. And you have not given your life to the Lord. It don't matter what you're doing or what right. you're smoking or drinking or booging. I'm yeah. not talking about that. Yeah. I'm talking about if you have not handed your life over to the Lord, come when on, man. you come, you are going to be in trouble. trouble. Yes, sir, brother. Yes, sir. I, I, I say that with humility. As I'm saying it, I just feel like, whoa. Right. I say that. It's, Ooh. Ooh. But it, it's the, but, it's but, the realest real. It's the realest, like, it is almost wrong if that doesn't get pushed to the forefront because yeah. it helps people get out of fantasy land. Like, we talked about that look where you just running around like you in the tulips as if this world is some big old field trip. This world is going to be destroyed. He's this world is not our home, right? This world, like, the only thing that's going to be left standing in this is, is his word, yes, right? And remember, Christ is the word, and so either you stand standing with Christ or you fall. You still, I mean, it's... <laughs> It's all bad. So I, I think there's an urgency. And so as you recap your first song to this generation through the music was Jesus is coming. Coming back as you now are even more mature, that message don't get like outdated. That's not a beginning message. That's like, oh. this is the message. This is the, this the, this is the wow. good news. John the Baptist only had one sermon. <laughs> he only had one sermon. Preach. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom is at hand. He didn't preach about this. He didn't preach about economics. He didn't preach about marriage. He didn't preach about none of that. We, we, Repent. We, he just kept preaching the same message. Turn to Jesus. He coming. He coming. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Get, get ready. Going. Get ready. Get ready. Ready yourselves. He's coming. The man is here. The big guy is here. The boss is coming in. And you don't want to. You don't want the boss to come in. You just walking around on his time, his air, and he paying you. He giving you life. He giving you air. He giving all this. And you just walk around and you ain't. No, no, no. You better put that broom in your hand. You better start sleeping. You better act like. <laughs> you better find. You better, <laughs> or else, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap because you 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 can't sneak your way in. You have to mm. actually be One called day. in and and bear forth the fruit. Of the because he's a fruit inspector, he wants you to be in line. He after your heart piece, right? Are you not just again? So you can't hide in the church, right? And that's part of what he did. He shook that thing up where you can't hide in there. Now, now, do you have a real relationship with me or not? Amen. Do you are, are you really connected to the vine or else, or were you just depending upon things, music, or the certain preacher you like, or being in this place to be your check mark of I'm good with God because I'm doing a thing, but you're not really living in expectation and anticipation mm. that this world ain't my home. I'm going to where my real home is. And do you really believe? Because I, because in the first coming of Christ. Gabriel went by John the Baptist's daddy house, Zechariah, when he was praying. The Bible said the time of prayer. Right. He was lighting the altars of incense. Mm -hmm. They're praying. Praying. Look at After their prayer come. Right. And they missed and they didn't it. it. He didn't even believe it. But 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 look at he's praying. He's praying. But That's but good. but 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 you didn't got so lured to sleep that even your prayers. Have become routine. You just say it, but you don't even That's really good. believe it. That's good. Because when the That's answer good. came, you said, "How can that be? I don't know. Right. This, ain't this what you you in here lighting the altar of incense? Come on, man. 
Come on. Talking, we're supposed to be communicating to God, God hearing you and answering. Mm. But the people didn't even believe because you got lose. So that's that's one thing I see even in this time yeah. that a lot of the stuff we've been saying, praying, and cliches and Jesus and hooping and hollering, when it when it came against the wall, you didn't really believe it. That, now, that's what I've seen. You said yes. it. You didn't really believe that. Didn't believe it. You didn't, you didn't believe, believe the power of it. You you talked about it, talked good, but when it was time to test it, it and again, so that's that's why this this next wave of folks, because we are the John the Baptist right now. Whenever the, before the king come, he sent his emissary. He sent his people out first to let it be known he coming. So again, we can prepare the way. The king, for, this is all his stuff. He want people ready, his subjects ready for his arrival. And listen, glad about it. They ain't mad he's showing up like he messing up their time or they shine. No, this is what it's all been about. I'm so glad he on his way here. They're readying themselves. Telling, they're excitedly telling other people, get ready. He on his way. Like he's kind of like, that's, that's how we live, in, man. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 how we live it, and, and, and I just want to bring in a, a little context for our brothers and sisters watching. We are gonna get to the video, y'all. But, mm -hmm. but like I said, but, but this is but this is what this is about. Yes, sir. We want to educate y'all about what we're talking about. Uh, yes, sir. This this is all in the context of a Jewish wedding. Mm. We we know in a Jewish wedding before. Uh, I'm just making sure my brothers want to make sure we had this video, brothers. I'm just excuse me, y'all. Okay, okay, we ready, we ready over there, amen, okay. but, oh, <laughs> all right, but but in the context of a Jewish wedding, after the, the groom picks his bride, then he pays for his bride, mm -hmm. more, then he, he, that's in the part of the engagement, then he leaves, and he goes to prepare a place for his bride, his bride, excuse me, in his father's house. Yes, sir. Then he he doesn't tell his bride what time he's coming back. No, she just know in a year spin she gotta be ready. Cause when he comes <laughs> back, he's gonna take her, and they finna go throw the seven day feast. It's finna go right. down. Cause cause what is he expecting? He's expecting her love for him and his love for her to be her motivation to take him at his word. And ready him herself for the return of her king, right? And so it, that it's a love, it's a trust. It's I know he's coming. I'm anticipating going to be with him forever. He getting his part set up. I'm down here, and I want as many other people. So again, like you say, do you really believe? Do you really believe? <laughs> because when he comes, y'all, we going to the party. It's we. And it's never gonna say, turn down. It's going up. If they ever oh, turn it down, oh, it's, 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 we up here. It's <laughs> the real joy, the real joy, the real. Yeah, we're not settling for these temporary, oh. these lesser joys. Where, like you say, we're using stuff now that used to be everything. We're using it to help say something about the king, right? Now we use the money when we used to just want to have it and be and show what we this. Nah, now I want the money so I can go do more of what he told me to do. Come on. I can do on. it in bigger ways. Yes, now these resources are not things that are idols now. Mm -hmm. They're used as tools so that I can keep my worship going. We make everything bow down to him. Yes, sir. Everything. He's the only God. Everything else got to serve him. Everything. Yes, sir. Bro, everything he gives us got to serve him. Yeah, man. Uh, and I said, y'all, we're going we to go up, amen, and it's going to be a beautiful thing, amen. Yes, old sir. people need to say, will you will you be there with me? When the, I was with that song, they got, they got the word. They, talking about you can't, you got to, how that verse going to say, I, hold on, don't 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 crown them without me. Don't, All right, amen. Said, I'm going to be there when he get his crown. I'm in the number. I'm in, I'm the, in number. the number. Yes, sir. I'm in the number. Yes, sir. I'm in the number. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, you, and you have to ask yourself. I think that's that's one of the main things in this day and time. Are you in that number? Yeah. Are are, are you one of his kids? Yep. And that only you can only you can ask only you can answer yeah. that question. No yeah. one else can. Yeah, because you are can't you, judge it by appearance. Yeah. No. Yeah. You can't. Are you do living you, for the Lord? Yeah. Do you got your ticket? Do you got your ticket? Because <laughs> that gets stamped on your heart. 
That's a marker. That's a that he there's an imprint that lets you know in turn. That's what he says. His spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So that's the only way it had. He got to put an imprint on you. He got to certify you. And when it happened, you know that it happened. You'll never forget it. <laughs> your and if you, like us, and you went to a party. Yeah. And you had your party. Now let him in. And you made a camp with a couple of people. Did you ever look back and see how they looked? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I would never look back. I just, no, I'm just going in. Walk in. Hey, we in here. But you got I, I, I shouldn't have made it, but because I was with them, I mean, right? I had a connection that got me in. That's I would be outside looking funny too. I, I'll never forget that when we was in the world one time. We was in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. We knew a brother. It was sold out. So we knew one of the main brothers. Hey, what's this, your boy? You know, they're my people. Let them in. It was a long line. They didn't get in. Everybody, like, oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Turn it down for what? And and then let me and last, how many people you gonna bring with you? Damn. When, when you go to heaven, how many people gonna say? I'm so glad I met you. If you wouldn't right. have came and set up on that street corner and was preaching like that, I would have missed all of this. All of this. See, that that, that gives joy that we not only get to go, but we're now participating in helping other people. Because again, parties, you want the parties packed as they can be. Yeah. You have a, we finna go to a function, you will, you will, especially your peoples. I want all my peoples up in here. If this is the main party to be at, you gotta be here, and you gonna you would do stuff to convince somebody. Come on, man, you gotta come, man. You you gotta come. like you know what I'm saying. And so that's our joy and privilege, man, is that we get to go out and invite people to the greatest party, <laughs> to the to the greatest kick, like to, to the come kingdom. On. Like it's just what a privilege, man. We are not just in, yeah. but we we helping others come in, man, and that. And so those are something that check us out. We all get the same reward when we get there, Christ. But then there is another cabinet, another room where we have treasures earned and stored up for how we labored in this world, yeah. right? Whatever them things look like, but there are some things that we get for our labor, man. So not only do we get him and get eternity, but there is crowns and things set up for us who serve him faithfully. And so we just get better and better and better. There's no better deal than this. Like, like he told, like the Good Samaritan, like the man told the Good Samaritan, Here's what I'm going to give you. But if you spend anything outside of this, when I come back, I'll pay you. And that's Jesus. That's Jesus. I'm going to give that's you right. this. But if y'all got to go a little bit over, maybe you have to die for it. Maybe something. He said, I promise when I come back. I'll make up the difference and I'll then some. <laughs> you can't lose. You can't, can't lose. lose. So this makes us fanatical. This makes us all in. This makes us go, you know, we can't stop because it's already been written. Yeah. We're going We're going off the promises yeah. of God. We're going off what he said, knowing him to be true. He's verified himself in our lives. And so we will and extend ourselves. And so we, we're living. And this is how we also help encourage each other. Because there's moments because we human, we get dull. We, we can get put to sleep. We got yeah. blows hitting us left and right. It's easy. That's why we can't be in isolation. But together, as I see you steady grinding, it helped me be reminded, no, boy, get back up. Yeah. Get yeah. back up and get in the game. Still alone, man. Amen. We're, we're, we're encouragement to each other. Iron sharpening iron. Iron. Right. Yes, sir. Hey, man, keep pushing. No, I, yes. I see that here. Come on, son. Let's go. <laughs> Pick your head up. Man. And that's why we need each other. Let's that's, go. That's why we need each other. You know what I mean? Uh, because we are, we often got to continue to li lift each other up and to when we get tired and get weary, no, come on. Remember, That's the right. king is coming. That's right. The king is coming. All this will one day be over. Just keep <laughs> Come pushing. on. Come on, baby. That's how we like. That's it. Man, that's it, man. Hey, yo, talk to him for a minute. I'm gonna make sure I get this, this video able to pull up. Just yeah. talk to him for a little bit, and then we go we gonna show it to him. I got you, man. So as y'all get to the video, I mean, I was so juiced. I'm glad I'm on the song, right? Because I heard the song. I wasn't on it. <laughs> I heard that thing, and I felt it in my soul, in my toes. And I was like, I got to get on that move. And so 
it was a privilege, man, to be able to get with my my partner, man, that's been riding for a minute, man, working for the king and the kingdom, man. And I've been watching your labor, man. And so to be able to be added to the track. And I, I just want to kind of say my verse because I wrote the verse in like five minutes, meaning I, it wasn't me that wrote it. It was handed to me. And it was it was a clear picture, man. In the song, I say, um, and they didn't know that Jesus was all up in the background. Did his work at the cross, died and rose and said, I'm back now. Man, we don't back down. Traps found, we gon' hit them. Sent to go get them, bring them living water. Jesus gon' heal them. From the venom of the enemy, I remember when he spoke tenderly to me. When I was in the wilderness lost, now he's sending me. Sending we, really sending he himself, the believer's wealth. He came to take the cookies of the gospel off the shelf, spiritually stealth, but we move in the open. Been banging blocks for the king from North Preston, Canada, back to Oakland. No joking, leave the spot smoking. Prophetic provoking in his presence, yeah, we've been soaking. Hey, now we in motion. Oceans where human feet fell on a rescue mission for the king to go get those who post to meet hell. We compel you to come now, bow down, cast crowns last round. Jesus laid his life down. He coming, man. The train is coming. He didn't lay his life down and redeem a people to just leave us stranded. No, he said, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. And I'm going to come back and get you so that where I am, you may be there also. And so we're living in anticipation of the promises, man. This is the word of God. This is believing through God's word, living in this way where you are. And I love the, the image you gave, Mo, about fin being a fanatic. That's what they thought John the Baptist was a weird dude. He was wild because he was just going against the current of the world. Everybody was mm. going that way. And he said, I'm going the other way. Mm. And it looked odd to people. But it was the right way. And then when the listen to this, when God began to call people to see the truth, this they call Christianity first was called the way. Mm. Don't go that way. <laughs> go this way. Christ is the way. Following him is everything. And so, man, I'm grateful, man, that um, God awakened me, called me to service um, and didn't give me just a church based relationship, man. But he's really put a love for not just him. Um, in my heart, but put a love for his people. Because that's really just him loving people through me. Our lives get surrendered. We die to ourselves. Christ rises in us. He gives us new appetites, new affections. And yeah. now he says he works in us to will and to do of his good pleasure. So our hunger, our thirst, our desire to serve him didn't come from us. Yes, that's sir. why anybody could get this. This is what he gives. <laughs> he gives you a purpose and then he gives you a passion to see your purpose through. To say, on. I'm not turning around until I get God's work done. That's He put yeah. that in us, right? That's how you know you've been marked. That's because right. there's something carrying you, driving you, putting you up to do this. We're making music that everybody may not want to hear, but we know they got to hear it. So we, we're we going against the grain. They're trying to listen to this and listen to that. We're trying to insert something else into the mainframe. Amen. Amen. And you got to hear it. You got to hear it. Yes, sir. Well, you're going to hear it. It's tight, like the beat is slapping. We're gonna do all of that. All we're that all the bells and whistles on it because we're doing it for the king. But right. it's not it's not, but like I said, we're using all that he's given us to exalt him. That's it. And, and one thing I know about the Lord, when you start using what he what he gives you to exalt him, he just keep giving you stuff. He just keep coming, <laughs> keep coming. Yeah. Can you do can you more use a little bit more of that? Yes, a little sir. bit more of that. Yes, yes, sir. If you're yeah, really using it to exalt yeah. him, that's all he yeah. wants. Yeah, because stuff ain't his problem. He right. said, everything belongs to me. And so I, I got no, I'm just looking for some available hearts that's fully surrendered, that are vessels yielded so I can use them how I want to. And that's what a privilege, man, to be brought to that place to know that my life is really counting yeah. in the grand scheme of things. What I'm doing now is speaking to eternity. Cool. This this make you feel, yeah, you like I'm doing what I'm supposed to like a cool. dying man has a reason to live, right? I know I got to die, but I'm living for something that really matters, man. I got work to do. I ain't stopping. Come on. And we, and we going to do it. Can you still see me, sir? Yeah, I see you. You good. And we going to do it. Hey, man, we going to do it by, by any means. Yeah, the train is coming. The train is coming. <laughs> we live it like we know that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh oh! It just popped up on this one. Uh oh! Train no, is that thing ready to come out to touch the world. He ready to come out the garage and, and let me go get him. 
So, hey, <laughs> I, I, we, so we can get ready to show it. I'm, I'm gonna take yeah. this down off well, of it. Go well, talk. Pray for it, Moo. Let's Amen. pray for that before we release it to the world. Amen. Let's lift it in prayer Amen. that he, the assignment that it has, it would do what it needs to do. I open and you close yes. it. Father, we thank you. Yes. Thank, thank you, you for the vision. Thank you for thank bringing you, the song together. Thank you for every element of it, the production, yes. the video recording, yes. all of that. Sister Carla, just thank you for yes. how you use various people. Thank to you, mix this one, this one yeah. plate up, this, the food that this is going to feed some folks. This is going to bring some folks out of darkness into the light. This is going to make some people who've been asleep at the wheel come alive and recognize that they got to redeem the time because the train is coming. And they got loved ones around them that don't know this. They're not living in that sense of urgency. They're not living in expectation. And so, Father, would you use this song to to draw um, new new converts, new believers who don't know this will be a trumpet call to them, and then use it in the body as you have let challenges come in the world. Let this song be part of the, the backdrop, the elevator music, if you will, that helps people in the soundtrack of life recover their steps and go from crawling to getting up and galloping to finish their race well. So would you help um, us even as we not only send it out as a video, but as we go and minister this song to places, may there be a heaviness on this song. May the actual statement yeah. be made. The train is coming. Like we're not just trying to rap nice bars and all of that. That's there. But no, the weight of the message may have fallen on people's hearts with convicting power, God. That you would use it for your glory. We surrender it to you as I pass it over to Pastor Moo to close out the prayer. Amen. Lord, we just thank you. Father God, well, you did it. Yep. Father God, you, you gave us the music. You gave us yep. the lyrics. You gave us the money, Father God, to produce it, Father God. You gave us favor with the videographer. You gave us favor with the our brother Dre that took the photos, Father God. Yeah. Everything, Master, you did it. You paid for it, Father God. So get your glory. Get your glory. Get your glory, Lord. We thank you for using us. Yes, God. Father God, and we thank you that you're allowing us to be a part of what you're doing, Lord, in this yes, earth. God. Father God, but do as you will, Lord. Yes, if it just God. touches one, yeah, Lord, amen, amen, amen. Bless you, Lord, and we honor you in Jesus' name, Jesus' amen. name, amen. Yes, sir. So, as, as Pastor L said, this is uh, I'll throw it here real quick. This is Train is Coming, it's coming off the uh, upcoming album, Church Going Wild. It's myself, PLA, Sister Carla. It was shot by uh, my dude, Marcel Padilla, amen. Uh, uh, it was the photos. Uh, was shot by our brother, uh, Andre, Powerline Business. So it was a host of people to put their talents. And as they say, as they all say, throw everything in the gumbo pot. That's and this right. is what you got. Amen. amen. It's coming. So <laughs> hey, let's take a yeah. look at it. We all looking at it. Amen. Yes, sir. Here we go. All aboard.
please enter with joy. I'm so glad you came. Go over the bad to claim. Pick up your new name. Eternal peace, real love. Kingdom come. Have a right. Just pray with God. I can call. P.L.I. Switch with Dynamite like JJ, man. And everybody, Mr. Train, will be burning in flame. You see, I, 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 I know I've been changed. No longer on the block, bro. Slanging the cane. That's fine. Sale did his thing. He did it. Yeah, he did his thing, man. He pulled he that did. together. He, he did pulled it. that together, man. So that's that's visually, man. Visually, it looks good. A compelling yes, way for the message to be declared, man. It sounds good, man. That's that's quality, man. Quality truth. <laughs> Amen. The train is coming. Amen. He did it, man. Hey, yo, we all seeing it for the first time. So yes, sir. It's not like even though I've seen a little bit, but he totally took that. You know, I yeah, put yeah. a little emphasis on it, but I let him cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I let him yes, cook. Sir. So, so yeah, we yeah, all man. seeing this y'all for the first time, and like I said, it's good. I like it. Yeah, man. And, uh, we thank y'all for hanging out with us, kicking it with us. Yeah. Hey, y'all. The train is coming. The train is man. coming, y'all. You know, don't fall asleep. That's right. Uh, work. Yep. You know, every day as though this may be the day. Amen. As this may be the day. There's a scripture I got to quote. Let me get this right quick. Please. Yes, uh, sir. Okay. John chapter, first John chapter three, verse one through three. See what great love the father has lavished on us mm. that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Yes. Dear friends, now we are the children of God and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this hope purifies themselves yes. just as he is pure. It means they get ready. Yes. <laughs> they yeah. get their clothes. <laughs> they get yeah. they get they like we dressed up on the on the video. We got the suit like we finna go see the king. They got they got ourselves ready in a certain way. And so everyone who has this hope that he's coming back for them, they ready themselves. And so we pray that you will ready yourself for the return of the king. Amen. You're ready, y'all. It's gonna be a great thing. Amen. We go the train, <laughs> the train is coming. Yes, sir. I love you, soldier. I love you too, soldier. Great Stay work. Stay on the wall. Stay on Salute, the wall. Baby. Yes, sir. Keep pushing. Amen. Amen. We're going to keep, keep preparing the way. That's right. Keep preparing the way for our daddy. That's right. And if y'all out there, we got evangelism, trap ministries training this Sunday, 3 p.m. For those who want to re get ready with us. You get yes. on your section of the wall. You can join yes. us. Basic Ministries, 1221 Pacific Avenue, San Leandro, California, 3 p.m. Yes. Tap in. We'll be training soldiers that want to go out and get on their section of the wall. 
man. It's time to prepare the way for the train. All yes, aboard! <laughs>